I'm the owner of Covermaker, one of the two owners of Covermaker Books. Uh, we've been in business for 23 years here in Enola, and we are a used and new independent bookstore. We're primarily used, but we have about 5,000 new books. A lot of our new books focus on local authors because we love local authors and we do events. We did a ton of events in 2019, obviously 2020 not so much, and we're really hoping to come back with some in-person stuff in 2021. Yay, that's awesome. Okay, so my you answered the describe your business, so my next question for you is, uh, what motivates you to do what you do? I love books. I read a book a day on average. Me too. Um, just love it. And I love to have other people read books. Like, And I love to encourage people to read books, especially fiction. I love fiction. Um, of my book a day for a year, in a year I'll probably read 350 fiction books and like 15 non-fictions. Yeah. And the non-fictions sometimes are like accidents. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> um, so what is something interesting about your business that most people wouldn't know? Okay. Um, so something people don't know about the business, I guess the big thing is that this year, at some point, probably September, my first book's coming out. Oh, so that's awesome. I'm doing a book artisanally, which is really indie, but it's paper only. That's what makes it artisanal, is I'm not doing an e-version because I don't oh, like no. e-book. I don't either. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. Out this year. That's awesome. Okay, my next one. What are your goals for the business in the upcoming months, years? In the upcoming year, a lot of it is to get my own book out. Um, we're bringing out some more cat books. So we have two more mouse books that are in the pipeline. One's a picture book. If you're not familiar with mouse, he's our bookstore kitten who was born during the shutdown. Oh. He, he'll be a year old on, on April 29th, but he was born literally in the bookstore. Um, we got a pregnant cat. They weren't fixing cats. Um, so they gave her back to us and they were like, here, now she's your problem. Oh and um, I kept telling the rescue, I'm like, I think this one's pregnant. They're like, oh no, you've never seen a pregnant cat. I'm like, well, no, I've never seen a pregnant cat. I work with rescue, we fix them, but you couldn't. So I came in one morning at like six in the morning and there were five little wiggling babies. So oh. we kept the one that loved us the best. Yeah. And he has one kid's book now and he's coming out with one that's his adventures, which he does every Thursday, oh. pictures from that and then one that's a fantasy one, and it's Mouse Chases the Dragon. Oh, so, I love that. Oh, we love our cats, we love our cat books, so. Cool, okay. It's exciting. In your opinion, why is it important to shop locally? Um, I only shop locally, and I only, for the most part, unless it's an absolute emergency, only shop in person. Um, I don't like Amazon, I have a bookstore. I haven't done Amazon okay. in four years. Um, totally not. Somebody said, even during the pandemic, I'm like, there are other companies. You can order from Walmart or Target yeah. or Giant. You don't have to order from Amazon. I think um, there's even online indie brands now that you can order from. <laughs> yeah, so there's no need to do that one. Um, so I think Shopping Local keeps money in our community and that's super important to me. Look, I have a cat coming to visit. Oh, Not Mouse, this is Zach. He's oh. our newest rescue. So he's only been here about a month. But so that is another thing that if people don't know, if anybody's allergic, we do have cats in the store. Um, some of them like Zach will approach you. Like we can take, I have a customer who's afraid. So we just put Zach Aww. in jail. We have kitty jail. I'm actually doing the interview in kitty jail. So. That's so funny. Cause it's where I can be without my mask because it has a door. Fair. So okay. that's, why, that's why we're doing this mask list is I'm in a separate room. So. Fair. Cute cats. Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah, I, I would totally get one, except I have a corgi and he is not a cat lover. <laughs> yes, that can be a pro problem if the dog thinks the cat is prey. Yeah. But I always tell people they can come visit cats at the store. We have a lot of people now that are just coming to visit the cats. And we've adopted 168 cats out of the store. Oh, that's awesome. We're, we work with castaway critters. So our number 169 is currently in the cage, but his person's been approved. So that will happen this week. That's awesome. Okay. What is, tell me something exciting that is happening with your business coming up. Well, we have Bookstore Romance Day coming up. That's not until August 21st. That's and we are amazing. Third. It's our third. So I'm really excited for it. It wasn't my idea. We signed on to it. We think it's great because I love romance. Like I if I read seven books a week, 
five are romance. Yeah. So, like, I was so excited about Bridgerton, so excited, and I loved it. Um, so yeah, so we're doing Bookstore Romance Day, that's August 21st. To put it on my calendar, honestly. Bookstore Romance Day, we will be able to do the slumber party again. Hmm. Our first one, we did slumber party. Obviously, we didn't do that last year. Yeah, obviously. So hopefully we can do a slumber party again. That's so cool. And what is the best way for customers to get in contact with you? Well, we have a telephone number and we still have a landline because we're a business. So it's 717-732-7288. Or they can go to our website, which is cupboardmaker.com. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we are on TikTok. Um, are you I really? That's that does cool. That. Yes, I don't do TikTok, but Christian does TikTok. So if you look up cover maker books on TikTok, we have videos. That's awesome. And we're on YouTube. So oh, yes, cool. the socials, except for Twitter, people are mean on Twitter. Yeah, so we don't that's awesome. So all of those places, they can contact us.